Kylie and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking onto this video and if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that bell notification button as I'm posting every Mondays and Fridays. And if you haven't already, please don't forget to give this video a like and don't forget to leave a comment down below. So without further ado, let's get into this video. I am sharing with you four tips on how I get through finals week. It can be a really stressful and hectic week for college students, for high school students, as you know, teachers are literally bombarding us with final essays, final projects, assignments, and final exams. So with these four tips, I hope they can help you out. Just have a less stressful and more efficient finals week. So let's get into the tips. Tip number one. Okay, so what I really like to do, and I think this is probably my number one tip for anyone who is suffering through finals week or just a busy week in general, I like to look at things from a day-to-day -day perspective and not look at it as, oh my God, I have so much work to do from Monday to Friday. I have to do this Monday, I have to do this Tuesday, da 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 And just think of it as a whole. That really frustrates and overwhelms me and stresses me out. So what I like to do is just break it down and look at it as a day-to-day -day kind of thing. I have finals week next week, but usually the week before is when you have to do all your take-home exams, your final projects, final essays. So typically the week before finals week I find is the most stressful. So what I like to do is just break things down so today's Thursday and so today I know I have to finish specific things that are due tomorrow so I just like to focus on those things for today not even think about the things I have due Monday because there's just no reason for me to think about that right now because I have something due tomorrow it really has helped me hyper focus on things that I need to finish and doesn't get me into the mindset of I don't know where to start and so then I end up procrastinating and I end up not getting anything done so I definitely think that that's the number one tip. Break things down, write it down on a list and prioritize what you need to get done for the day and just get them done. So that is probably one of my most helpful tips that I can share with you guys. Tip number two. So you guys, we're going into Asana and I love Asana. It's literally been my life and savior for college and work and it's free, so it's amazing. Um, so you can see I have all my classes for this semester. I'm gonna go into my recording company operations class. You can see a whole calendar view, but you can also see weekly views as well. So I'm gonna go into this assignment and what I love about it is you can create subtasks. So again, breaking your assignment down. This is exactly what we need. Not only that, but you can link YouTube videos, documents, Google Drive, Dropbox. So it's a nice place to have everything in one spot. Not only that, but you can see it in a list. You can see it in a board. So if you like to visualize things differently, they got you. If you want to go premium, they have other ways that you can visualize your tasks. But the free version is perfect for me. So I definitely think you guys should check this out. Again, it's free. So for a college student, high school student, for anyone who's working as well, it works perfectly. This also works for group projects because you can manage, communicate to each other all in one spot. So check it out, guys. Check it out. Tip number three. What I like to use is the Pomodoro technique. I think this is a super helpful technique as it just helps me focus. I feel like I'm the type of person that really loses interest and finds it really hard to concentrate sometimes, especially when it's like a long period of time. Like if you tell me to sit down for an hour and do homework, I really lose interest and lose concentration. So for me, the Pomodoro technique has really helped me just get things done. If you don't know what it is, basically you set a timer for 25 minutes and so you get things done in those 25 minutes. Then for five minutes, you take a break. You can go on your phone, go for a walk, drink some water, get a snack for five minutes only. And then after those five minutes are up, you go back and do another 25 minutes. I feel like I'm almost doing like a test or a quiz and I'm like, I need to get this done in 25 minutes. So it just really helps me kind of feel under pressure. I work really well under pressure. So I feel like sometimes in my head, it just helps me like flip that switch and be like, okay, I need to get this done. And it just helps you also break things down even more. Not only do I have to finish this project today, but in these 25 minutes, I'm going to finish this and this. So it just helps you get a little bit further into what you have to do for the day. So I definitely recommend the Pomodoro technique. Tip number four. My last and final tip would just be to take care of yourself. It's really easy to neglect our bodies, neglect just ourselves in general when it comes to finals week or just a week where we're really busy. So just don't forget to eat food, drink water, take a shower. I know these are like 
really simple things but it really does happen where we forget to take care of ourselves during final week and i think it's just important to feel good not only feel good mentally but physically as well you need food as fuel to keep energizing yourself to keep working hard so don't forget to eat don't forget to drink water take a shower try to go to sleep earlier or just try to stick to your routine as much as possible and i'm telling you that will make a whole load of a difference again just be kind to yourself and just make sure that mentally and physically you're okay. And I'm telling you that will really help you when it comes to taking exams, finishing assignments, and just getting things done for the week. So I would say that's probably another really important tip. Okay guys, so that's the end of my video for today. I'm sorry if it was a little bit short, but your girl is also juggling with school, exams, and work. I've got a lot of things going on, but as I said, I made a commitment to post every Mondays and Fridays, so hopefully this video was educational enough to help you out get through finals week. Um, if you're going through exams or if you're doing assignments and projects, just know that I believe in you. You got this. We got this. We're going to get through this together. I love you guys so much. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do as we are a small but growing family. I love you guys so, 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 so much. I'm sending you lots of love and light, Natalie. Mwah.